as we are going to, as the title suggests, I assume, let's play the Domino's Pizza Tracker. <laughs> Pete the Pizza Maker. We, hey, there's Pete. We promised we would do this, and here it is. <laughs> <clears throat> we're going to have to talk for the entire time that we're uh, waiting for the pizza to arrive, just to get the full experience of it all. Yeah, there's no sound. Where, where the sound I don't know, there should be sound. I just turned up the sound. Mm. Like, what the crap? Oh, sound is off. Okay. Dip the dough, and then ladle a nice spread of sauce on top. I turned then off record system audio. Then we add some audio. cheese, and all the delicious toppings you want. All we make two sure toppings each order that. gets just the right amount. We are getting a beef pizza with mushrooms hopefully, on half of it. Hopefully that will be loud enough. But my god. So this anyway, there's amazing. pointless little doodads you can click on to make stuff happen. <laughs> such as that. All right. Now it's time to bake your pizza. Jeez, they must not be very busy. I'm gonna need a little help from my handy pizza pack. Well, I don't think people order it pizzas people at your pizza right into the oven. Yeah, it's four twenty. It it's time to do myself. weed. Ouch! <laughs> we gotta be careful, because the oven is very hot. And when your pizza you are my pizza out, heroes. That's what I did last time. After your order is prepped, there isn't an option for. Right we are recording our <laughs> progress right now, so <laughs> everyone will know if you're messing up. Alan is doing our order now. Just right. What does it say? Right there, underneath it, your, oh, I your, it. Your order is in the oven. Alan put your order in the oven at 4:19 p.m. Oh, okay, so let's see. Um, thanks for making my dinner. That's like yeah. retarded. I love Domino's. You guys rock. Um, I don't know what I would do without you. <laughs> Thanks for all of your hard work. I just like you on my pizza here, but I did that last time. Mm. And they'll remember. <clears throat> Gotta keep it different. Yeah. Making my lunch. You are my favorite Domino's team members. You're my favorite customer. No, Keith was last time. Keith put our order in the oven last time. How do you remember this? I just do, because I like the name Keith. So... I have a treat your my order like it's the most important one. In the sure. World. I wonder if they actually see these or not. Oh, you know that they do. <laughs> what do they? What does it like pop up on the screen? Treat my order well, like, like it's the most important one in the world. <laughs> yeah, they've got like a digital readout on the oven. <laughs> one of those like, crappy little yeah. LCD screens with like the it scrolls one letter at a time. <laughs> with, with like the cartwheeling guy and the little inchworms and oh my god, all that stupid stuff. You can pick your theme, too. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, my. Okay. You can be in... Oh, God. There's a bird. Ah, hey, guys. Ah, it's a warm one out there on the beach today, huh? <laughs> and it's about to get out because your order just hit the oven, ma. <laughs> what the shit? Oh, my God. That was richly insensitive Jamaican man. Crab, crab, oh. Dancing parrot. Everyone dance. Dancing <laughs> We just threw a ball at the parrot. Come on. It's a strangely realistic bird, too. <laughs> what the crap is this? Well, we gotta look at the other things. Yes. So. Put your order in the oven, man. Wow. This is epic. Here's a baseball one, because baseball is exciting. Holy, holy, this one is heating up. I knew it'd be something like that. Okay. It's heating up, guys. Um. Ball didn't do anything. Well, I guess the first one was just like the one that is interesting. Yeah. Let's see what else we've got here. Is this space? Wow! Yes. Well, it certainly wasn't yes. space. That was amazing. Can we turn the it up to eleven? Is in the oven. Wait. Ah. Uh, wait. D oh, does it? Act is it that does, actually eleven? Yeah, awesome. Does, it does have Yay. eleven. Come on, you gotta have 11 on there. Oh my god, the patent's pending. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh god, okay. It's um, the most useless video ever. basketball though. one. This isn't gonna be interesting. We got it right where we were. Time to turn up the heat. This order is going straight to the oven! <laughs> I wanna know who did these voices. It was me. I really want to know, like... Okay, man, I got you in the recording studio. I need you to say this. <laughs> well, it's like with Pokemon. Every episode, they get the whole cast to just cough a whole bunch. Boring one. No, that's my fun. Well, let's just put back... Jamaican, man. This is the best one. Yes. Okay, so... 
The rest of the video uh, is going to be just on the this. Today, huh? And it's about the guitar, cause your order just hit the oven, ma. Just hit the oven, ma. Oh, I got the crap, the crap. Can't get the crap. This one has nice music, though. Yes. Okay, so, anyway. Notice we're watching Pokemon. Yes. Clearly we'll watch Pokemon while waiting for our order to continue. Okay, we're well, not. <laughs> hit the bird. Every Pokemon site has Coffin as its mascot, by the way. <laughs> Like, because this is, what, Dogasu's backpack? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then there's Smogon, or I always call it Smogon, but Smogon, Pokemopolis, they, uh, I think there's, like, at least one other one. And I, I just found out that Pokemopolis is actually in the show. Yes. I did not realize this, and they're Pokem, what were they, Pokemopolites? I, uh, Poca Pokemon Pokemonopolis size. No, it's like Pokemonopolites or something like that. <laughs> something really stupid like that. It's retarded. So anyway, uh, story time. I have... If, oh, yeah, you gotta tell this part first. I We went to Goodwill and got, like, all the Doctor Who books that they had. They had, like, seven Doctor Who books. Let me see if I can But yeah, it. we got all those and uh, a Redwall book and then this one that she's gonna say in a minute. Uh, we yeah. went to check them out and the lady's like, oh, are these kids' books? And we're like, not no, really. They're, they're, oh, they look like kids' books to me. So, she made, she, they're, the adult soft cover books are 99 cents, and I believe the kids' books are cheaper, so she made them get us cheaper. Even though I clearly told her, no, they're adult soft cover. So, like, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Star Trek Memories. By William, William Shatner. Shatner. This is a kids' book. <laughs> William Shatner's memoir. Let's see, this is, uh, Pretty much, the, the the cover of this is just it's, amazing. It's just Shatner looking up into the up into the heavens with, with that, his usual Shatner face. Like the Spock. like he's got the spotlight on him and he's looking up and he's in his captain shirt and you know it's just the classic Shatner pose. So I open the book to flip it up. First line I read. I'm, I'm like, I, I saw this book at Goodwill, and I'm just like, oh, this is going to be the most egotistical book ever. It really because is. Because it's Shatner, okay? I'm expecting ego in this. So first, I got a great performance out of me when I directed Star Trek V, because <laughs> I respect me so much. First slide I read, during rehearsal, uh, Leonard tries his best to not laugh at one of my most brilliant jokes. <laughs> And there's a picture of, like, the three together. As you can see, I finally got him to crack. At least a little bit. That was the first line I read out of this book. It was the most amazing thing. This book is, like, but gonna be the worst thing ever, isn't it? It's gonna be amazing, though. So, it's like... I don't know. It's, it's Acknowledgements. Me, I, I, me. I, yeah, I'm fully expecting it to go the alphabet of manliness route, where at the very end it's like, actually, I retract all my previous statements. I, the This book is dedicated to only me, because I did a bang-up job on this book. Oh, God. So, anyway, uh, if... Looking good. Check, 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 one, two. We be quality check in your order, man. And it be looking so good. Good, I'm glad you don't wow. tell me it looks bad. Anyway, as uh, you may remember if you watched my uh, Pokemon Emerald videos, uh, a while back I was... God, it's the best Shatner picture. Uh, I was kind of ranting about this nearby game store. The hell? Coconut Somebody hit it. it with the Steve. No, it's a coconut. Oh, I know, but people like the Steve, oh, so we have to call it's it the that. Steve. Anyway, I was talking about how this game store was kind of just really poorly run. And I never did name it, but oh, it goes I, over the kids. Okay, go ahead. I went into detail about how there's like this, these two other game stores of the same name. Should I say what it's called? Go ahead. Do we care? Anyway, it was called GameWorks. There was one that we used to always go to, and then we found out that there was another one near us also. And then this other one that we found out later is called Game Worlds. Very similar name, but they are different. So anyway. Uh, I w we went to the Game Worlds and asked, like, do they have an inventory? They said, no, we don't have one. And the guy was just giving really bad customer service in general. So, anyway, uh, next time we went there, I asked, like, do you have any openings? And they said, no, we just hired a whole bunch of people from GameWorks because they closed down. And we're like, the hell? When did this happen? Yeah. Why did they close down? It was a good store. And... So then we find out that apparently GameWorks was operating without a business license for, like, almost a year, and 
it just closed overnight with absolutely no notice. None of the employees knew it was happening. Like, there were... Ah, ding dong! Delivery! Hey! The delivery man just left with your order, and he ain't taking no bumps, lead man! Are those words? So, he's gonna be here soon. Okay, so do I have to get the phone, or...? Just have the phone with you, yeah. Uh, I can get it. Yeah, let me finish the story. So, yeah, there was, like... Accounts online, like, it was even on the news, apparently, the local news, um, employees went to work that day, went home, and then next morning, get up, go to there, and it's just closed. The hey, entire... Mom, are you still here? Shut up. Where's the after beach party happening? Ah! Oh! Yes, we did! This is the best fucking tracker ever. Anyway, yeah, the entire store was just totally empty, and, like, they have thousands of games in this place. And Two different locations, overnight, gone. Yep. No notice. <laughs> so you have to just imagine the owner of these stores, like, getting a group of guys in a U-Haul and being <laughs> like, grab everything and stick it in this truck. We're going to dump off all the games at my house. Yeah, it's at somebody's <laughs> house now. We have confirmed that... The, all these games that he either didn't sell are just sitting in his basement in his house. The yeah, owner. It was just, my God. And yeah, the employees just got fired basically without any notice. Yeah. They're, I think they're suing. Everybody who had a system in for repairs, it's gone. Uh, store we, store credit gone. Yeah, store credit's totally gone. People we had like over two hundred dollars in store credit. You can't there was this, use it anymore. One person had like a six hundred dollar iPod or iPad. iPad, yeah, iPad. Yeah. That was like sent in for repairs, and just now it's gone. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> the stupid. No, no, I can't explain it. <laughs> so yeah, that's the game work story. Uh, it's kind of sad how that even happened, but it's amazing. I like. We need to find out if those people are ever going to get their stuff back because apparently this happened in Missouri. They had they had stores there also, and they closed down without any notice. And all the people who had stuff in for repairs uh, got it back like three months later after going after like jumping through a whole bunch of hoops. Yeah, it's kind of terrible. So anyway, here's another story, completely unrelated one, but uh, I applied to a family video <laughs> a while back, and I got an interview for it. And uh, so we went to we went there, and I'm like, uh, we got there a little bit early, so we had to wander around a little bit, and uh, then. The manager, like, I, I go up, I'm like, okay, it's time for the interview. And he's like, okay, well, let's do it. So he just sort of sets up a chair in the middle of the store and sits me down and asks me a few questions, and we go through it all and whatever. At the end, he's like, okay, uh, I'm not going to hire you because, uh, because you this didn't you so didn't stupid. smile during the interview. Make your jokes right now. I know, me not smiling with this voice. Imagine that, but... Well, when you're, like, nervous with the interview... Yeah, I mean, and know, I know you're supposed to smile during interviews. I haven't been in very many. So, I know that still, now, but... You're not supposed to, like... It's, like, retarded, so, the most retarded reason ever, not hiring somebody because he's they like, we need super, we, we need super friendly people here. So, anyway... Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we didn't get... I didn't get hired. Come back a couple weeks later... They're still looking for somebody. In this goddamn economy, like, they're yeah. still find, trying to find somebody that Two is qualified. So, I asked, like, you know, I applied here, I didn't get in, could I try again? And the lady's like, no, if you went through an interview and you were rejected, you were blacklisted for life from this store. You can apply to a different one, but you can never apply to this store again. I'm so retarded. So then, eventually, you go on. <laughs> yeah. So I went to, uh, it was, I got off of work on Saturday one day, went by there to rent some games. Um, I rented the Arcania, the Nuts and Bolts, and... Um, yeah, Banjo Nuts and Bolts, we just bought that today, by the way. That game sucks, but oh, it's Wade. funny. Um, I rented those three. I went in there. So, I... I, first of all, I asked, the, there was this guy, you know, putting the stuff there, and I'm like, hey, I need some help, because I wanted to rent Avatar, the good one, and um, I was like, hey, where's Avatar? He's like, oh, oh, do you mean, like, James Cameron Avatar or Last Airbender Avatar? So, to describe how this man looks like, um, 
Bow ties are cool. He has a bow tie, first of all. That's, you know... I haven't seen him yet, but I have he, heard this he description. Was wearing, he was wearing a collared, button-up, pinstripe shirt. And he has this hair that I can only describe as Napoleon Dynamite hair. <laughs> or, like, a, like, really, really curly? Or? Well, it was, like, afro-ish. But the only other way I can describe it is it's only available if you've seen the commercials for the airliners. Oh, yeah. There's this airline commercial. If you, this... Yeah, if you ever watch that guy with the glasses, there's these commercials for some airliner service. We don't even remember yeah. which one it is. Effective commercials, I know. Yeah. There's the annoying one with the lady eating the Hispanic man in a burrito. Hola. Is someone in a mood for spicy? And then there's, there's the, the, the everyday we're shuffling. Shuffle out, shuffle. <laughs> and then there's the one with the guy with the inhaler, which she really hates. I really hate that one. So if you've it's, seen it, you know what it's I'm the guy about. with the inhaler. Here you go, cutie. Yeah. He's like... The... It's that guy. So, um... So, I'm like, okay, well, he's like, well, James Cameron, Avatar, or the last Airbender Avatar? So, I'm like, the good one. He's like, oh, okay, the Avatar is this way. <laughs> so, he's like, oh, we're all out of it. Can I help you? I'm like, no, I'll just look around. So, I get these games, and this guy is the most peppy guy I've ever seen in my they life. They found someone who smiled. <laughs> Oh my god, there's a, such a thing as being too much too much pep in your voice. Like, I was kidding earlier about how, like, they need to find, like, the biggest cheerleader ever for this thing. He because is. they're, like, looking for the best of the best for family video. <laughs> Hardcore. And I guess yeah, they freaking found they, them. They found him because I go up with my games and, and he's like, oh, wow, you can rent three games? You can rent, you can play all these games in, like, one week? I'm like, well, I stream online. So I usually try and get games I haven't played before. He's we like, were oh, gonna stream. We oh, you mean it. like like stream like on Justin TV? I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, I've always wanted to do that. It sounds so cool. And he's just like smiling, this uncanny smile. God. And it's just, can I, I, need I please to see get this away? Guy. It, it was uncomfortable. It was like, <laughs> I, I felt it. It was like comparing. I don't know. I'm a happy person. But I'm not that kind of a happy person. So there's something, there was just, it was Uncanny Valley, I suppose. That's the only way I can say it. It's just really weird. But that's not nice. All right. Now we will listen in on the phone call. Come on. I'm going to do it. Hello? Oh, okay. Um, You're on the second floor? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, just go up the second floor and we'll meet you at the door, okay? Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the recording, guys. Thank you very much for watching this, like, stupidity video. So, <laughs> bye.